Welcome guys to a brand new video on solo leveling arise. Now I've seen a huge discussion around this particular side of the developer notes that is getting people thinking that these characters are going to be getting nerfed and not buffed. Now I also when I first saw this for the first time I reacted to this on my uh, what's all the amazing stuff coming to the game. I thought this was also talking about a nerf for this particular characters because um, the way they worded it it, it kind of sounded like a nerf but then I also made another a video following that where i was explaining the boss so this one's over here and then i reread this again and i don't think it's enough i read this and i don't think it's enough there is two reasons why i don't think this is enough but there's also another two reasons why i think this is enough first of all if this is a buff for all these characters in here i think it would make sense except for charhane honestly i think the, the fact that they added charhane questions whether this is actually a buff because Charhane is already broken i see no reason for the devs to actually um, buff her but there is actually a couple of reasons why they need to buff min another reason why they need to buff co there's another way they could buff emma and there's actually another way they can buff Trojan in as well so that makes me think this is actually a buff and as well as if you take a look at how sorry if you take a look at how they actually worded this as well it kind of makes sense it's a buff however just to go ahead and make sure netmarble knows right now if this is enough you are about to kill your game so bad you are about to destroy your game because do you know how many people topped up for ssr charhane do you know how many people have talked about how broken this character is it's not like um actually yeah she's pretty broken like right? she's on a different tier you know how people already say she's broken and how many people have sold for her we don't know when this buffs for these characters are coming out, but this is pretty much going to be after the banner for Charhane is gone. So you guys are going to make a change to Charhane after a banner goes, goes away, after people are already summoned and you, then you nerf her, that would instantly kill this game. It's not even funny. This will kill the game so hard and I don't think that Marble are stupid. I mean, they've done silly stuff before. They still do silly stuff right now, but they should not kill the biggest game that they have created so far because this game is smashing right Records. this game is getting huge amount of publicity that like this rec the game has gotten so much money for them now they want to kill it by nerfing one of the best characters if not the starting banner for the global launch that makes absolutely no sense as well as they there is no reason to nerf any of the other characters besides Charhane. I, I guess you could say Charhane needs a nerf because she's too broken but then again the content in this game is kind of hard like the content in this game is kind of hard we, we need that one character that makes it easier and everyone if you started global launch should have Charhane. it's easy to get her now i briefly mentioned that Charhane could technically be nerfed because she's that broken however there is actually one buff they could do to Charhane, which i do mention later on in the video but i want to just quickly say it right now so just just so that you guys can actually be relieved i do think Charhane does need a buff with her second skill because it actually locks you in it's a, there is no animation cancel that it is possible when you're using this second skill which actually allows you to take more damage than you would like to have because sometimes when you're using skills for other units you do do some cam animation cancel when you feel like okay i'm about to get a, a hit with damage then i need to use my uh dodge skill to animation cancel so technically what they could do to buff charhane has nothing to do with increasing the damage but has to do with her second skill and making it so that you can actually animation cancel with it because the moment you use a second skill you are locked into place the only way you can actually protect yourself i guess is to tag out uh, Charhain will still be on the field doing the last bit of her attack but you tag out and you use another character and then you can dodge with those characters and that's usually how i get by not being hit whilst using Charhain's second skill so there is a buff they could do but before I carry on with the video guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, stay tuned for more content on solo leveling arise. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think as well. And if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and click the like button, show your support. And again, we are going to be doing a giveaway in the near future. Only going to be available for those of you guys who have actually supported me via the content creator section on Netmarble's uh, page. So link will be in the description and in the comment section of this video as well. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get 50 likes in today's video. It's video boy AC Gamer. Let's carry on. So, and if you take a look at the other characters, Min Byung Gu. What the flip are they going to nerf with this man? Like, he, he's good. He's pretty good. The, the heals is the only issue. That's why I think this is actually a buff. Because there's a couple of ways you can buff Min and a couple of ways you can buff Seal and Emma. 
and Troy, the only one that doesn't really need a buff is Chahane. So it might be like a little buff that they could do. So I think with Chahane, actually, the second skill locks her into place. You can't actually... Um, you can't actually dodge out or do an animation cancel now if you take a look up here right now with beck they actually fixed that same issue beck over here when you use his basic attack after you have your enhanced attack you can't actually animation cancel and that's why they actually making it that they you can you can actually animation ca uh, cancel so if you read it during the extreme attack beast form the accuracy and rigidity of basic attacks will be improved the rigidity part is because usually you can't break you can't you can't stop the animation cancel which means you get hit when you're you're, you're actually pressing a space bar and you're trying to dash out the weight you can't but wherever wherever whenever you use that on other characters they can actually dodge out the weight so in terms of charhane if they really wanted to buffer the best way they could do is instead of increasing the damage or reducing the damage or whatever is basically making sure that that second attack she does you can animation cancel that would pretty much be a buff so that just in case you're about to get slammed in the face and you can't animation cancel and you die from that that's a big w a big big uh big l but the fact that they will allow you to animation cancel could be a big w so i don't think this is actually enough i think it'll be too stupid for them to actually nerf this up especially with emma emma is not broken i mean they're good characters but they're not broken i might say it on my title and in my video but that's just youtube you say characters are broken the only one that's truly broken is try him emma me uh min siojin Wu, troy they are not broken by any means this is not enough if it's enough net marble needs a big spanking that's all i can say <laughs> because that, that, that makes no sense as well as if you take a look at this vulcan rage because this is not getting enough. Vulcan Rage is not even that good. This is a buff as well. So the Photo Enhancers, let's read this again. The Photo Enhancers and weapons are also scheduled for adjustments, with changes aimed at enhancing their balance compared to their status, uh, current status. They actually use the same wording for these characters in here, and none of them got enough. Let's go ahead and read it right now. The performance adjustments will take place as below based on current usage and... Wait, no, not, not that part. Um, where is it? Currently, we have moved forward. Yeah. The development is continuously conducted. Therefore, performance, performance adjustment would take place below based on current usage and performance balance results. So, yeah, technically, they use it's not the same wording, but it's kind of similar wording. And other characters got enough. It's, it's, I don't think it's enough, but again, I, I don't think I think it's a possibility honestly it's still a possibility it's like 50 50 or not actually it's like 80 20 percent 80 percent meaning it's a buff in some way doesn't really mean it's an increase in damage for Charhane it could just mean like the gameplay because um if we go ahead and take a look at Charhane um where's Charhane this skill over here you can't animation cancel once you press this kill you are locked in and that's kind of a, a issue it's kind of an issue but because she does a huge amount of damage it's fine but in the future when we get better content and harder bosses where you want to make sure you don't take as much damage as possible when she pops the second skill and you're about to get hit and you can't animation cancel you are about to die so or you, let's say you're about to die that is that is a big issue with her i guess even though the damage is fine but again they could definitely allow this to be animation cancelled and that would be fine honestly so i think in terms of buff that could be the only buff they do for her but i like i previously mentioned the other characters again can easily get a buff it's not like the characters are insanely broken so let's just quickly go back again and uh take a look for for min Byung-gu, he needs a heal buff in my opinion like he does healing but it's not insane it's not even useful it's it's useful i guess because any heals is fine but it's not noticeable and that is a big issue with him in my opinion even though he's one of the best debuffers slash buffers in the game he's actually pretty good Seoju Wu, again amazing dps but she has this shield effect that is sucky that makes no sense the shield effect isn't good in my opinion five percent shield that is not that insane so they can increase the shield effect and everyone will be happy from five percent when she's using a skill one she can change they can change that double it up to ten percent and then when she's giving your shield to your song jin Wu, instead of ten percent it could be a twenty percent that would be really really good 
with Emma Lawrence, she kind of struggles with uh, super armor. I think she needs super armor for some of her skills, for skill 1 specifically, in my opinion. She could go with that, as well as her supportive capability is not that insane. I know we say she's one of the best support characters for Troy, she's a good support character, but she doesn't actually provide huge supportive capabilities. So, let's go back again into the game, take a look at Emma. The only, well, great damage from her skill 1. And she does provide you guys with heat emission, but the heat emission isn't insane. It's not that great. It's not that crazy. She can easily be power crept in the future by a better buffer. So if we take a look at this, increase in penetration, defense penetration by 7.77%. That is not insane. And you take a look at the next one, increase the fire damage by 7.77%. That is good, but again, not that insane. It's not that insane. It can be power crept in the future by a buffer that gives you an increased damage by 20%. That is already insane. So, honestly, they couldn't buffer with the heat absorption, heat emission, especially heat absorption. This is not that useful. Like, entirety of a heat absorption is not that crazy, except the shield. Everything else is kind of doo-doo, like absolutely doo-doo. So, they could buffer up as well. So, again, I do not think it's enough. I don't think it's enough. I refuse to believe Netmarble are going to do something as silly as to nerf the beginner character that everyone was re-rolling for, everyone has invested into, everyone has gone in, spent a lot of money to max this character out. There is no way that is possible. It is not enough. I am saying that fully understanding that Netmarble can, can do something as silly as nerfing a character. It makes sense. But at the same time, I don't think that there is a reason to nerf her. There is a buff that they could do, which is instantly making sure her second skill can't be animation cancelled. That is a buff in some way, because if you're about to take big boy damage from the enemy and you can't animation cancel, then of course that's a big, uh, big, big L on Charhane. So like I mentioned, every one of the characters can actually get a buff. It doesn't really mean that Charhane over here's damage is going to increase or the damage is going to decrease. It just means that you can animation cancel with the base uh, first with a basic skill too. So again, I don't think it's enough. And you can let me know down in the comment section if you disagree. We can have a conversation about that. But if it's enough, it would instantly like kill it. And the rest of the other stuff they mentioned, those characters need a buff, I guess, I guess. Um Vulcan Rage definitely needs a buff. Honestly, it's the weakest SSR weapon we have. So yeah, I do think it's a buff. The same wording as well. The Fodian Hunters and Weapons can, are also scheduled for adjustments. Now, that kind of worries me. Adjustment could be a buff or enough. But then with changes aimed at enhancing. Enhancing, not reducing. Or enhancing their balance actually kind of worries me though. Enhancing their balance means, well, they must be balanced around the same, um, same tier as other characters. Which, technically, the other characters we don't use, they just got a buff. So if they nerf these characters to buff up this character, then aren't we going to have the same issue? Whereas these characters are the strong ones and then the characters in here are not that great. I don't know. Or, yeah, I, I don't think it's enough. Um, enhancing their balance compared to their current status. I mean, they are the best characters in the game, but of course they all had issues. They still have issues. It's like they do have issues. It's not... It's not like they are just like instantly have them. They, I mean, they are good if you instantly have them. But like, I have a maxed out CO and I have a maxed out Emma, and I can still tell you that Emma has an issue. I can tell you that CO also has an issue. I can tell you Min also has an issue. Charhane technically has an issue, which I just briefly mentioned. Troy has a major issue. His damage, not scaling of crit rate and crit damage, kind of leaves him open to being power crept in the future. So they could increase his overall attack percentage. They could also give him armor, but a super armor, just like that. That would be actually pretty useful. So if you take a look at most of the buff in here, yeah, some of them do have like, oh, increase overall attack, but some of them also have just improvement on the kit and how it's utilized. So making sure they have super armor or making sure that the kit has a nice smooth rotations and stuff like that. So again, it is not enough in my opinion. It's been a boy AC Gamer. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'm out.